Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 119. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 112 to 120. Hey, this YouTuber asked about an exact video. He tried to do Excel name trick number seven, indirect function, and he had a problem. Um, again, I always have notes up at the top and videos that refer you to other videos for further uh, explanation. Now here's what we tried to do in that video. We uh, were using the intersector operator space. Let's just show you how the intersector operator works. If I was to say equals this right here and then a space and then this right here. Uh, that's showing up in white. You can't see that. There's an equal sign, a range, a space, and a range. By putting a space, it says, please find the intersection of the two. Now, notice there's the blue there, and there's the green, the dancing ants right there. So it should return that number three. Uh, I'm going to uh, control Alt E A F to get rid of all the format. I had some bad formatting there. I went to uh, use the keyboard shortcut from earlier versions, but there's the eraser. And then clear formats, because that was annoying. That was getting in the way. So if I double click this or hit the F2 key, you can see there's blue and green. That's the intersector operator. But what he tried to do here was the full video. Now watch this. We're going to highlight this whole range here, and we're going to use our name trick. Because we want to control Z. I want to name this column time, this column age, this column name, and each one of these rows here, this person's name. There's a very quick way to do it in Excel. You control shift F3, and that allows us to create names from selection. Top row and left column, click OK. Watch this. If I highlight right here, you can see that, oh, wait a second. It didn't do it right. Nicole Bogdan, it put a underscore instead of using that exact name. You got it. You can't have spaces when you name things. So Excel was very polite there and put it in for you. And that ultimately was the problem this YouTuber had, and we'll figure out how to deal with that. If I highlight this whole column right here, I can see it's age. If I highlight this whole column, it's time. And what he wanted to do is we want to create a formula here in this cell that would always allow him to, um, we have data validation here, select from this list of names right, and have time. And he wanted a formula here that would look to that supposed name and this name. And right here, it would find this value right here, which means intersection of that and this. All right, so let's see. And this is exactly what we did in the, um, the name trick number seven. We said equals uh, indirect. An indirect function takes a, a cell reference or a name as text and converts it to the actual range. Because watch this. If we said equals this uh, space this, even though we named that whole range right there, this formula has no way of knowing that that T-I-M, that time, that word time, is the actual named range. So the way you deal with that is use the indirect function. Watch this, indirect. So by putting the indirect about that around that cell reference there, that will tell it, yeah, it's the word time, but now convert it to the actual named range. And then we do the same here. And then hit Enter. Now, so far, if you're watching that name trick number seven video, this would work, except for one thing. That series of characters is not the same as the name that we have up in this range. If you go up here and highlight this, you can see it's got an underscore. So we need to deal with this fact. Now, here's how we do it. I'm going to hit F2, and there's a function called substitute. Now, uh, there's a couple ways you could solve this. You could go through this and just remove the spaces and rename them. You could also put underscores in there. But what if you had a huge list coming in from some database? You wouldn't want to do that. You want to use those names and this name right here. Well, there's a way we can change. If I highlight this here and hit my F9 key, you can see that it's thought Excel sees this as the text uh, Razavan Luce. I'm terrible at 
foreign languages. But you can see that there's a space there, and we don't. We're going to use the substitute function. The substitute function takes a text string, and you tell it, hey, look for the space, and please substitute that space with an underscore. I'm going to Control Z. So right around that B5, I'm going to type substitute. And then I'm going to have to put a close parenthesis right there. Uh, but I, I want the substitute. Substitute. The text is whatever's there. Comma to get to the old text. The old text is a space. And watch this. You put double quote space double quote. So far with the substitute, we said look here. Find that bad text we don't want, a space. Now we have to put a comma. And the new text we want is in quotes underscore in quotes. And there you have it. If you were to highlight this substitute right here and hit your F9 key to see what it evaluates to, no way. That's exactly right. And it's text. What the indirect function does is it takes that text and converts it to the range. Control Z so I don't wreck that, and Enter. And so that's how to deal with this very strange problem where we have uh, spa uh, spaces here, spaces here, but the actual name up in the name box had uh, an underscore. And now we can uh, try this and test it. Let's go to uh, this first person right here. And so we have, should get 7 and 7. And there you go. That's how to use the indirect and substitute and this uh, intersector operator uh, space. All right, see you next Excel trick.